You here in this room are the architects of wonder of the human brain and mind. You know better than anyone else that progress doesn't begin in abundance. It begins in curiosity and restlessness and stubbornness in the wild hope that something invisible will one day be understandable. So here we are, gathered here not to mourn what's been taken, but to run at what can never be stolen. And the unbending belief that our minds can tackle the mysteries of the brain. And when we do that, we're serving something much larger than ourselves. Because the courage to look into the unknown and see possibility instead of limitation is and has always been the first act of true progress. We're here today because what you do really matters. And what we imagine here today can shape who we become. The eye altering alters all. So I can't wait to alter with all of you. What I was hoping to do here is reach inside of ourselves a bit deeper and bring the conversations to a different kind of level of creativity and cooperation and bring a storming. Let's see how high we can bring creative productivity of these ideas. This is a visualization engine of brain data, and we're focusing on how our minds react to music. But what does it mean to adapt in a space where the environment isn't adapting as quickly as you are? What could we do if we could program biology that would make neurotech possible in ways that it hasn't been before? I am really excited to be working on brain-computer interfaces. This technology has the promise to restore lost abilities, ranging from healthy mood and memory to communication. Our vision is to develop an AI-based system towards potentially transformative therapies for neurological and neuropsychiatric disorders. We're all addicted to something, and so how can we start to bring in and replace judgment and stigma with compassion and kindness? There's so much beauty in human connection, and we don't see why the version of that on the internet cannot be an amplification of the beauty of human connection we get in real life. So I hope you join our network for Brain Mind. What I'd like to do is create a tribe of people who want to be creating every year together in this type of an environment. We have a lens on an area of a science that's really important. What you all brought to this, this attitude of what can I offer this community, not what can I take from the community, your brilliance and your goodwill, all of that has just been so beautiful to watch unfold here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.